Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are again back in the Florida, Florida Everglades, and we're going to be going again back to the Salty Delta. And the reason we're going here is for the last species that I have yet to cover, and that is the Gaff Top Sail Catfish. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope I am. But it is a marine type of catfish. It lives in brackish and salt water. Now, that just so happens that the weather is a little bit on the cloudy side, or partly cloudy side. So, we've got peaks early in the morning and late evening. Well, it just happens to be late evening, We're just about still in the peak here. And I believe in the morning it's going to be sunny, so we might need to advance time to the afternoon because I do believe that in the afternoon yes the peak time is around 3 p.m. and that's the best time to catch these guys during the peaks I have tried them at different times and that always seems to be the best now let's take a look at what we're going to be going after here guys let me scroll on down here it is the gaff top self catfish and it does go for a lot of different things it likes uh, to eat crustaceans, so that means it'll go for uh, shrimp, prawns, uh, crawfish. Haven't tried crawfish cut yet, but it does also go for worms, other invertebrates, and other fish. And other fish, you can use small cut, large cut bait, medium cut bait, small cut bait have have caught as well, and they do come in common, trophy, and unique styles. But this is the guy. There he is. That's what he looks like. So, that's what we're going after, guys. Anyway, I'm going to be using my Brutus 9 foot by 10 inch rod. Uh, Phoenix work just fine. Omnifloat will work just fine. These guys don't come huge. Um, as far as reels, you can use a lot of varieties. I just happen to be using my Redfish 5500, but you can use much smaller ones like the Prima 3000, Prima 2000. That'll work as well. Uh, I've got a heavy line on here. Basically, I haven't changed this because I was catching some bigger fish and I just scaled a few things down. Uh, I'm using a chubby bobber and a number two aught hook. And I'm starting off with large cut bait. And I will tell you, as far as leader length, it'll work at 99 inches, but it seems for me to work best at 80 inches. That's just my preference. You can try different things, and you'll probably find your own. Anyway, guys, let's get into it, because we spent a lot of time on all that nonsense. And we're going to a new private room. All right, it is getting a little on the late side, but what I like about fishing on the cloudy days is it's not so foggy. And again, I don't have a whole lot of time here for this particular day, but we're going to go ahead and get started. You don't want to fish very far off the dock. Usually about eh, between 40 and 30 feet. I prefer uh, about 34, 33. That just, that's my, again, my preference. I am starting, like I said, with the large cut bait, but these guys go for a lot of different things, guys. So, most of it's just a matter of being patient. And I will tell you, when they hit, they hit hard, and there's usually very little warning, if any. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here, and we're going to see what happens, guys. So, if there's a big lull, I'll take it out and I'll bring it back when something 
goes for it. Oh, guys, I got one already. Sorry about that. I had paused for just a second, but there we go. And it's a trophy. Nice way to start this off, I would say. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, they're not monsters, like I said. Now, this one's only a, a 4.338 pounds. 157 cash, but there are uniques in here, so you need to keep trying at it. Yeah, I really didn't have to wait as long as I thought, which is kind of amazing. I had put a had just clicked to put a pause in there, and the darn thing went after it, so I might just keep it running this time instead. And I had no warning. I was just sitting here and boom. He took it under. See how quickly I didn't even pause here. Boom. That's how easy it is to catch them. Now this is a common one. Runs about 66 cash, so it's not an enormous amount. About a eh, 1.893 pounds. So, yeah, I'm still keeping this sucker. Still keeping him. And I'm going to switch over here real quick while i got some time. We're going to try them shiners this time. They go for those as well. Just so you can see a little variety. I like to have variety. Oh, too, too far out. There we go. Bring it in a little bit closer. And the waiting game starts. Shouldn't be too much of one. This is the peak, so... Damn, they are really hot today. Really hot. There we go, 74, 2.11 pounds. Nice. That's a very nice... Yeah, as you can see, they do like the shiners very well. The only thing I, they didn't seem to go for was the frog. And they didn't seem to go for the for leeches. And I think that's because you won't find them in brackish water. So that's not something they feed on. I'm not saying they won't. It's just that I fished for quite a while with them and... Didn't get so much as a nibble. Not like this, by any means. Alright, guys. It is past the peak now, and it's quieted down. As soon as it hit, like, 8 o'clock, the biting was nowhere near as frequent. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and reel this in. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and next time I think we're going to be probably doing something a little bit different. Unless I happen to hook into some kind of a unique of one of the new species, either the common snook, or the uh, gaftoff cell, or anything of that nature. I'm probably going to be leaving here for the most part, and... There's been a couple of requests that some of my viewers have made, so please be on the lookout for that. What I'm basically going to be doing is fishing as if I'm a, at a level between about, oh, probably 10 and 20, maybe 30. But I'm going to keep my gear below level 20. That way you can see uh, what type of ways you can make some good cash at these levels. So anyway, guys, I hope... You uh, will come see me again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.